So we're sitting here at Campo Verde, which just happens to be Dimebag Daryl's favorite restaurant. Pretty excited about being here. Just put in my order. Got something really, really special coming our way. So stick around and check it out. So when I was 16 years old, this album came out called Far Beyond Driven. I'd never heard of the band Pantera before, but that was soon going to change and that was going to change my life forever. I ended up going to see the band Pantera 12 times and I never once let them get past my city without me going to go see them. Over that time, I was able to meet dime a couple of times and on May 8th 2004 was the last time that I got drunk it was at the Graceland in Seattle and it was dime bag that got me so shit-faced that I decided that I was only ever gonna drink with dime bag Daryl again unfortunately just a few months later, he was murdered on stage on December 8th, 2004. And I never got to see my friend again until today. Now I'm at Dimebag and his brother Vinny's memorial. Two of the greatest fucking people I ever met in my life. And I kinda wish you just, they were still here, man. On damn. If it wasn't for these guys, I never would have gotten into the music industry, which <laughs> ended up getting me to become very suicidal at one point. But the reason why I got in the industry is because Dimebag got murdered on stage, and I just wanted to do something to make the music industry become what Dime always wanted it to be. Fortunately, I failed at that. And that's how I became suicidal. But that's okay. Because that sent me on a path. It changed my life. It brought me to where I am and who I am today. The traveling coffee guy. If it wasn't for Dimebag and Vinny, I wouldn't have been traveling around the world by now. I wouldn't have been seeing the amazing things that I get to do in my life. I wouldn't have these privileges. And they've absolutely changed my life. And I'll forever, forever be grateful. Love you guys. So we're sitting here at Campo Verde, which just happens to be Dimebag Daryl's favorite restaurant. Uh, pretty excited about being here. Just put in my order. Got something really, really special coming their way.
they gave us these chips and salsa. So we got two different types of salsa. Let's check it out. We'll go with this red one first. Mm. Yeah, I really like these chips. You can tell they're made fresh here, and uh, they're nice, light, crunchy. It's really, really good stuff. We'll go ahead and give this orange sauce a try. Looks like a cheese sauce or something like that. Mm. Yeah, that is a great queso. Alright, so before we get our our main entree that we ordered. We're just gonna go ahead and do a little tour of the place. Check it out. So now we have it here. We got this amazing, amazing plate of rattlesnake fajitas. Yeah, rattlesnake fajitas. Can you believe it? <laughs> All right, so this, uh, it sells at market price. So today I ended up getting it for, I think he said 38.50. And uh, man, I'm so excited for this. Let's, let's, let's make one of these up and dig in. We'll go out. We'll go ahead and start out with some of these uh, sour cream here as the train goes by. Guacamole on here. Beans. Some beans. I don't want it yet. Out of the way. Grab some of this rattlesnake meat. They told me to beware because it might have some bones in it. Some of these fajita veggies here. Hell yeah. Tomato for good measure. Snake meat, it's like it's really stringy and it's been cooked down to like like a super 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 tender pulled pork kind of but yeah it's a uh, it's pretty good <coughs> let's try some of this rattlesnake by itself I'm not the best food reviewer on YouTube by any means, but I can definitely understand why this was Dimebag Daryl's favorite restaurant. Oh yeah, I mean, I highly 
just coming to Campo Verde if you ever or not, uh, Cantigo, Texas. And uh, it's a bit expensive, but go ahead and try out this rattlesnake uh, fajitas. Or if, you, if you're really hungry, they have the world's largest hamburger uh, eating contest here. They've got a seven pound hamburger that if you eat it in an hour, it's free. If you don't, it's $60, so it's a big ass burger. So you might want to check that out too. I was thinking about doing that, but the uniqueness of the rattlesnake fajitas, I had to go ahead and try that out. So that's what we did, as always. Eat great food. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.